top of the morning, Pete. Hopefully everybody's staying safe, staying out of this Corona Rares, staying the fuck away from the streets of ignorant motherfuckers. <clears throat> I remember many years ago, not exactly the year, but I think it was 1998, 97 or 98, in California State Prison. They came out with this grooming standard. You couldn't have your cross past your earlobe. You gotta have a clean shade. You can't have no gold teeth like this, you know, or any other style they're looking at. They wanna keep a person clean, plain. But you know, at that time, I was young, buck wild, my blood was boiling and shit. A motherfucker like myself didn't take no order from anybody. So I refused to do a whole lot of other shit. I refused to work. I refused to cut my crops. I refused to do any goddamn thing. I did what the fuck I wanted to do. Fuck them goddamn rules and regulation in their policy. I remember when I used to, I remember what I called this CEO, this, this white dude, this racist ass white dude. I called him a raggedy ass motherfucker. And he wrote me up. He wanted to put me in the hole for a few days. I guess I wasn't a good old time. So anyway, my point getting jacked up. You know. I think when your point passed, what, I forgot. I'm not exactly sure it anymore. It's been so goddamn long. I think my point passed 52. So my point got up to a point where they have to shit me out of there to a level four. So, right after that 99, when they say when the year 2000 come, the whole goddamn world is going to explode, stop. It's going to be fucking chaos. Supposedly, Jesus is supposed to come back and shit. All this mad bullshit. I remember that night, man. It was 1999. We was counting down. I got my boots locked up. Motherfucker was laced up, man. I was ready for it. You know what I'm saying? I was hoping. I was hoping the world turned chaos. Because I've been locked up too long. I need to get the hell out of that shit, ho. You know what I'm saying? Everybody was locking low. But when midnight came around, and West Coast time, shit, all that bullshit. Jesus, God, whatever the fuck it is supposed to come down. Ain't shit happening. <laughs> you know why it ain't shit happening? Because the New Year's, the year 2000 came in the East Coast first. Now, it ain't shit happening in the East Coast. You know what I'm saying? It ain't like we run a concurrent time. Everybody run on the same damn time. So, you know what I'm saying? If the West Coast is three hours ahead of us, you know what I'm saying? Or in, you know what I'm saying? In the East, they done had the New Year's already. You know, brand new year out there. There ain't shit happening out there. The fuck you think's gonna happen out here? And the goddamn thing's gonna happen. <coughs> 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 Ooh, is that goddamn coronavirus? But anyway, so after that night, you know, uh, back to normal program. Everybody going back on the fucking yards. I'm still on C status. You know, they got a nigga like me on C status. And then. They shipped my ass to fucking high desert, state penitentiaries up there in Susanville. I remember, man, the first day I got there, they put me in a holding tank with a serrano, with a couple of serrano. So in the back of my mind, I'm like, God damn, man, they trying to set me up or what? 
Because down south, Asian and Serrano ain't getting along during that, that time. You know, I guess some of y'all don't remember back back in the days when TRG, some shit happened between the Serrano and TRG on the streets and the TRG lit him up and killed this little girl. You know what I'm saying? So they gave a green light on Asian. You know what I'm saying? So that's how that bullshit came about many, many years ago. You know what I'm saying? Shit happened on the streets and it escalate into the penitentiary. <laughs> but anyway, up in high desert, <clears throat> I didn't know that uh, Serrano and Asian was, you know what I'm saying, I guess supposed to be on one side and, you know what I'm saying, Asian and black supposedly at war. So when I hit the yard, the whole atmosphere, man, it was it was all fucked up looking. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> up in High Desert, when I got there, we were still on lockdown. You know, up in High Desert, man, 23 and 1. Well, you know what I'm saying? They lock you nine months out the years on lockdown. Three months from yard time. So it was a lot of fucking... Uh, Politics happened up in High Desert. Motherfucker was playing that shit hard to the fullest, you know. <laughs> so I'm like, God damn, man. You know what I'm saying? I ain't never heard of this black and Asian at war. So they told me that about a year ago, you know what I'm saying, black and Asian got into a big time. So ever since then, black and Asian ain't eye to eye anymore. So I'm back in my mind, like, damn, man, this is fucked up, man. You know what I'm saying? Everywhere I go, from the street to the penitentiary, black and Asian, you know what I'm saying? We brothers and shit, man. We homie. So anyway, one day, one day, man, I seen this cat. I know that motherfucker, man. That's one of my homies from the hood. Anthony Dean, my nigga end dog. So I walked up, man. I'm so so Oh God damn, what's up? You know what I'm saying? We embraced, gave each other a hug. Damn, it's been a long time, my nigga. Real long time. <clears throat> so anyway, I went to canteen and grabbed some zoom zoom and some wham wham. Came back, you know what I'm saying? Me and old end started. Walk in the yard, chopping it up. You know what I'm saying? Me and O.N., we start chopping it up. You know what I'm saying? Talking about the past. You know what I'm saying? How have he been? How have I been? So I told him, man, Ed, why don't you tell your people, man? You know what I'm saying? And I tell my people, man, let that old bullshit go. Let's come back together, man. Let's start playing ball together. Let's start hanging out together again, man. So, you know what I'm saying? Show some love, some respect. We do the same way, man. You know what I'm saying? This black and Asian supposedly have animosity against each other. You know what I'm saying? This shit got to go, homie. You know what I'm saying? As much as I hate this shit, man, I know you hate the same shit. You know what I'm saying? Let's go ahead and embrace each other, man. So that's what we did. So ever since that day, you know what I'm saying? Me and no aunt. You know what I'm saying? Walk in the yard, man. It was a lot of motherfuckers like, damn, what the fuck is going on? A well, black and an Asian strolling on the yard, chopping it up, man. So most of them cats didn't know we homie from the hood, from the streets. Matter of fact, me and this nigga grew up together in high school, popping locks on motherfuckers up in high school, throwing towels on white boys in the head and, you know what I'm saying, smashing their ass up. <laughs> And we did hell of dirt together too. But that's on a different story. <clears throat> so, this is what I'm talking about, brother. You know what I'm saying? In life, man, all it takes is some, you know what I'm saying, with some cats with some clear mind head. Motherfuckers with some reality, man. Motherfuckers that who know what respect is. Who understand what respect is. You know what I'm saying? You give respect 
to get respect. Everybody's a man. You know what I'm saying? If you think you're going to take respect, you're bound to fuck up, man. You're bound to drown. You know what I'm saying? There's time, man. With this time when you got to dance underwater. You got to dance in the rain. You know what I'm saying? When the rain come, when the storm come, when the rain come, and you got to dance under the rain, sometime your worst enemy, supposedly your worst enemy, is the only motherfuckers that are going to help you out. You know, I've been there, done that, brother. Another cat, you know what I'm saying? Just on that note right there, there was this cat, man, me and this cat, right, this brother, you know what I'm saying? We used to squab all the time on the streets. I mean, we was like fucking cats and dogs. When we got, you know what I'm saying? When we was in YA, I saw that cat in YA. Man, we showed each other some love. It was fuck the bullshit, whatever the fuck we had back in our younger day. That shit was bang gone. That nigga embraced me. I embraced that motherfucker. We was cool, man. You know what I'm saying? We both from the heights. Now, you know what I'm saying? On the black side of the world, we call it Heights. The El Paso Heights. Now, on the Asian side, we call it El Camino. Which a lot of motherfuckers don't even know. They don't even know how the hood started it. <laughs> so, you know what I'm saying? The topic of the day... It's that uh, sometime we got to give motherfucking pass. Show some love. Forgive, motherfucker. Sometimes you got to forgive to forget. Because a whole bunch of rowdy ass, juvenile minded. All it takes is one knucklehead wild everybody up. To do some bullshit. Because I remember back in them days, man. Back in the late 80. You know what I'm saying? All them cats for Moonlight Stranger. Y'all remember that shit, man. I remember that shit. I was in Y with half of you fool. For Moonlight Stranger. What the fuck happened? Oh, nearly the whole gang killed this one dude. And everybody didn't take the blame. So everybody got locked up. Nearly everybody got locked up. It should have just been one cat. Should have been one motherfucker took the whole blame, took the murder. And everybody should, you know what I'm saying, got away clean. But nobody want to take the damn rap. So everybody got caught up and went to Y. Those who went to Y went to Y. Those who went to prison went to prison. See, we got to know, we got to distinguish. You got to distinguish between right and wrong. Robbing niggas for nickels and dimes, that's not going to get you nowhere. That's going to get you 25 to life. You see a lot of you young brother men, y'all committing petty ass crime. You know what I'm saying? You robbing niggas for $20. A dove sack. You rob the motherfucker for a dime. You rob his ass for a bicycle. You know California prison, man. California state law. What's up? What the fuck that shit is now? 1020 to life? If you rob somebody and then you punch them, that's a robbery with assault. Now that's 20 to life. California prison ain't playing no more. The law ain't playing ever since that sick motherfucker. I forgot what his name that caused that three strike law. Forgot what the fuck that motherfucker. Uh, it was a slumber party. And that old nasty peck of wood snatched that little girl. So ever since that, man, that three strike law, they ain't playing, man. They gonna strike your ass out. 
California ain't playing no more with motherfuckers. I've been trying to tell y'all motherfucker that for years. You gotta wake up and smell the goddamn coffee like this, you know? <clears throat> All it is is take a, one person with a strong mind head to tell everybody to knock that shit off, man. Sometimes you gotta step up to the plate and be the leader. And said, nah, homie. You know what I'm saying? Why are we gonna commit some petty ass crime or assaulting motherfuckers for no reason? But we got worse enemy than this. Don't never assault motherfuckers that weaker than you. If you wanna do something, make sure you earn some strike. Punching on an old man, taking his cans. And that shit don't earn you no goddamn strike. 20 motherfucker jumping on one cat? Ain't gonna earn you no stripe. You think you going around the hood bragging and shit, you know what I'm saying? Me and my nigga 20 motherfucker jumping on this cat right here. You think motherfuckers be proud of you? Real ass nigga gonna look at you like think you are, you're some bunch of bitch ass nigga. You know what I'm saying? If you wanna do something, man, earn some fucking hard ass stripe. Don't earn no motherfucker pussy ass strike. Plus, in life, when you do something, make sure you get paid. Hopefully you're trying to get paid. You know what I'm saying? One fucking crime will fuck up your whole life. You get a felony on your goddamn record, you bound fuck for the rest of your life, fucking life. Can't get a fucking decent job, man. Especially, you know what I'm saying? You want to go into government job, your ass is out. It's about, you know what I'm saying? I used to tell my motherfucker at my workplace, it's called less work, more pay. You know what I'm saying? The Mexican cat, man, they're like, more work, less pay. That's not how it works, you know what I'm saying? And the, and, 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 and the lands are sophisticated. The lands of liberty. Motherfucker got up. You know what I'm saying? You got to, you got to think smart. Get paid while you just kicking back. You know what I'm saying? Why using your energy, your strength to get paid? You got to think, people. Prison life ain't no good, man. I still remember this tongue and cat. The homie, you know what I'm saying? What was Baby Snake. Was it? No, not Baby Snake, Baby Sneak. You know what I'm saying? His oldest homie, Raymond. You know what I'm saying? The homie, he got killed many, many years ago, a long time ago. But his older brother, Charlie, you know what I'm saying? That nigga caveman, you know, that fool went to the pen. That motherfucker big as fuck. You know what I'm saying? So, Baby Sneak told me, I asked that fool, man, I said, what, what you gonna be when you grow up? He said he wanted to go to the pen just like all his cousins and his brothers and shit. Man, I told that little fool, man, what the fuck is wrong with you? You ain't got to go to the pen to be a big man. You can stand on your motherfucking strike the smart way. Legit way. Stay out the fucking goddamn gutter, man. You know what I'm saying? Wish back in my younger day, I have a big homie like myself lacing me up with some real shit. Real gang, don't ever encourage your little homie to do something that you wouldn't do. Remember that shit. You know, a lot of them sorry motherfuckers, supposedly big homie or OG homie, using the little homie to do dirty work. They ain't never done shit in their fucking life. But anyway, y'all take it easy, man. Love each other, respect each other. You know what I'm saying? We at this, the time of crisis like this, everybody, man, should embrace each other. Instead of spreading hate, show some love, okay? Peace, I'm out of here.